Okay, welcome to the first lab of AZ500. The uh, name of the lab itself is uh, Role Based Access Control. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So we're going to create a couple of uh, uh, user groups in different ways. And then we're going to assign a role to a group um, as well. And the um, original instructions in include a nice uh, a picture of what we're trying to do here. So please go and take a look at that. But what we need to do first is um, create a group called Senior Admins. And we need to make a, a Mr. Joseph Price a member of that group. So let's start with that. So we're going to go over to Entra or Entra ID. And then we're going to go to the Manage section, and there we have Users. And you can see we have a lot of users in this organization. Um, now, we could take a look at whether the user actually exists. So let's look if there is a Joseph Price. And, and, and he does exist. I, just, I, I know it because um, that's what I'm being told. So, so we could create the new user here. However, in this environment, I don't have the permissions for that. So it's pretty created for me. But in your case, you could just create it right here. All right. Um, so then let's create that group, right? So we're going back to our um, tenant and then groups. And then we'd like to create a new group. The group type was going to stay as security and the group name is going to be senior admins. I have a random post fix to that to make sure everything works correctly. Uh, my membership type is assigned. Um, now we can add our Joseph as an owner. And a very specific Joseph here, Joseph 46531128, that's the one. Uh, and we're also going to add them as a member. All right, so we can create that group. That's done. So next we're going to do the same kind of stuff, but we're going to use a PowerShell uh, for that. So uh, let's go over to a cloud shell. So after a bit of waiting, we've got our cloud shell. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a password profile. And in that password profile, we're going to set our password. And we'll make sure that we're connected to Azure. I'm going to set the domain name based on our subscription. And then we would create our user like this, Isabel Garcia. But um, I, we actually already have that in our environment, so we're not going to do that. Um, so the user already exists, so we're just going to get um, a couple of user IDs here. All right, so here we can see our users, so Isabella is definitely already there. So then let's create our new group called uh, Junior Admin, Admins. Um, it's going to be a security group. So that's created. 
Um, we can then, of course, find our groups. These are all of the groups. Um, now we need to get the account of Isabel, right? So this is what we're going to do. We got that into the user and now we can add that user's principal name to our junior admins group. Now that's done. So if we now look at all of the group members of our group, you can see that Isabel is in there. All right. Um, so the next time we're going to do this in Bash. So let's just switch over to Bash here. So first we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, domain name down just that, so that we have it and then now we could create a user it would work like this we would create dylan um, however dylan is already here so we're not going to run that instead of that we're just going to list the users and then you're going to see that dylan actually already exists all right, here we can see our users. They're all there. So um, let's get the uh, user information into a variable called uh, user. And then we can get from there the object ID property. It's OK. We can actually look at it if we want to. Okay. Object ID. This is what it looks like. Um, and then we can add our user with that object ID to the group service disk. We don't have that group. What happened? Ah, we forgot to, to create it. <laughs> okay, so it's first created, of course. Service desk with the random post fix. And now we have it created. And now we can add it, right? Cool. Let's just check what the members of our group are, and we only have uh, Mr. Dylan um, in there. Okay, so our final activity is to uh, add uh, the virtual uh, machine contributor role to the service desk group. We're gonna use the portal for this. So, um, we should go over to our resource group. It's going to be uh, RG as well. It's going to be. Ah, we're going to create one. Okay. Fair enough. So, resource groups. It's going to create one. And we're going to name it AZ500 Lab 1. East US is okay. Just going to create. So now we have a resource group, AZ500 Lab um, 01. And within this resource group, we can take a look at the access controls. And then we could add a role assignment. And what we want to do is we want to assign the virtual machine contributor role. So we need to search for that virtual machine 
Common Trade Contributor. So that role, I want to assign that access to a specific uh, group. And that group was our service desk uh, group. And we had this uh, post fix of four, six, five, three, one, two, three, eight. And this one. All right, so let's do it. So thanks for listening for this lab. And see you in the next one.